All right, this is just in case anybody out there is like me. I'm just like, all right, what the heck? I'm just gonna go ahead and try it, right? Um, basically, so what this is, is uh, this is a sand disk, right? 256 gigabyte, just ordered that online. And I just plugged it in and just reformatted it a bunch of times just for fun, right? And uh, basically, I was just doing all these different things and not really reading into them too in depth, like I kind of already, you know, knew what was up. So I was just kind of going through it and doing it a bunch of different ways, like how I remember doing it a few years back, because stuff changes, right? So anyway, I go in there and did Mac, uh, extended, and then extended journaled, and I did case sensitive which I was planning to just for uh, data and backup reasons. And after calling Apple, they were like, we'd recommend, you know, not doing case sensitive, et cetera. But, you know, we're just like, it's your stuff, do what you want. Cause I guess there's a likeliness of having issues is pretty much a matter of fact as he was describing it, but I was already planning on uh, doing all case, case sensitive and just using it like as a backup anyway. So I was, gonna encrypt this and I was just uh, went to advanced security options and went to stage four um, which they warn you on being the slowest right uh, and just kind of like what the different options and features are they it's not really too descriptive um, which is why I'm making this video because it's the uh, seven pass security race is what it does so it goes forward and back seven times and um, basically just like randomizes uh, the erasing process and different patterns or like a random pattern anyway so then uh yeah and then you can go back and encrypt it right um so i guess not a lot of people do this or if they do do this they have some uh reason for doing this and also probably some experience doing this which is all good you know i just wasn't one of those people um so anyway this thing after about 40 minutes was like it didn't move it didn't move i didn't there was nothing there was nothing sorry i'm like there's nothing displayed right there. Nothing. It was just nothing. So wouldn't let you exit out of it. Wouldn't let you quit. You know what I mean? So I didn't. I didn't just unplug it, etc. Um, I'm not really extremely concerned about ruining the thumb drive because I just got it just like as an extra one. So whatever, right? Um, just to kind of play around with and uh, basically. I decided to call Apple right away. Long story short is, is if you close your Mac and you let this thing run, it won't work. Um, it has to be open, it has to stay open. Uh, keep it on battery life. An option is, is if you wanna uh, let the computer just die, just leave it open and let the computer die, run to zero. All the operating in the, uh, in the drive will stop. It won't damage your device. It'll just uh, basically just make you reformat that uh, thumb drive again is all and this is an extremely long process so if this takes you a day two three uh, don't be too surprised but it shouldn't take it shouldn't take you that long it should just be a lot less um, I did this last night like I said I closed mine we're actually seeing uh, it's moving so it's past four so this is the fourth pass so this is an extremely uh, highly encrypted and dramatic way of going about reformatting your uh, drives, unless you have like a real reason. Um, I should have just taken some of that uh, a little bit more seriously when I was cl clicking through it. Uh, like I said, cause I was just kind of playing around. Um, that's, that's really all I got. If you have any questions or comments, leave those below and I'd be happy to answer them. Um, but yeah.